and welcome to China's incredible NEVs. My name is Alex and I've been a driver for 36 years. Compared to European and American new energy vehicles, personally, I think one of the biggest features of the Chinese NEVs is that the functions are very comprehensive and powerful. Today, we're going to look at some of the unbelievable features of China's NEVs. So fasten your seatbelts and let's go. This is Avatar's engineer, Sadie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Alex. This is the first model of Avatar company. So the name is Avatar One One. This model is generated by three giants in the Chinese automobile industry: Huawei, Chang'an, and ZTL. It's my first time in the Avatar One One. If I have to say that these maps here, or the way that they've shown the car, you pretty much have total control right here, right? Yes. It's amazing. All those materials where we can touch by our skins, right. those are antibacterial material. Mm -hmm. We also have these UV radiators, which could oh, wow. you know, uh, sensitize all those environment. You can feel the um, noise control of mm -hmm. the vehicle is quite uh, very quiet inside of the cabin. Avatar is the how to say the Avatar Ultra Sensory System. So the sensory system around us. Yes, the okay. systems around us that are giving the car a very good visibility to the environment he sees. So what he sees all show on this cluster. We have the three lidars on our vehicle, mm -hmm. and also we have a 13 HD cameras. And also we have six mini millimeter wave radars. So a lot of sensitive uh, sensors that helping this vehicle to be a capability of vision all the environment. Also, when we on the road, uh, standing straight right now, mm -hmm. there's a sign showing up, which means I can go like autopilot driving by the car itself. So oh, really? push twice, it will go as my navigation goes. So it will planning its own road on the on this road the road it will be planned by itself so, so the car example, now as we speak is yes. driving itself speed is 64 kilometers right. because i set it to this speed so when i scroll up to 100 which is uh, the limit speed of this road it will go up to 100 but if there was a car inside of us mm -hmm. it will be follow the speed of the front car ah. or maybe if the, another road is empty it will go it will choose the fastest road. This vehicle it reaches 3.98 seconds from 0 to 100. Wow, okay, really? That fast? Yes. That's incredible. It's also supporting the voice control. For example, like, Shout out, shout out. Can you feel the yeah. massage? Yeah, massage is going. Yes. <laughs> Here we push this parking assistant. Okay. Then you can, you can see it's scanning. You want to stand here? Yeah, I would like okay. to park right so there. I, we saw the car is here, right? Mm -hmm. And we choosing the position and okay. we start. Then release the brake pedal. It will starting to plan its routing and coming back to this position. And let's see. say some kid ran out in front of the car. It yes. Stop. Yes. Okay. Good. This is cool. Safety first. It's impressive. How does it know how to do that? Yes, because the albatross, the high sensitivity sensors around us. What I've just experienced over the last 30 minutes driving in this car is something extraordinary. China's new energy vehicles have placed Great emphasis on user experience. What are some of the other marvelous features? A 
I've arrived at a place called Cary, the China Automotive Engineering Research Institute, and I'm here with Pander. Pander, what's your role here? So I'm the uh, vice um, uh, general manager for the intelligence testing center for Cary. I think this drives the whole companies in the with, also with the support from government and, and the research institute to demo the new technology such as um, autonomous driving, navigation pilot, autopilot, in the in, uh, safety navigation pilot and uh, intelligent parking and intelligent uh, interaction functions in a vehicle cockpit. More than 50 percent of the consumers worldwide believe they believe they expect to see self driving autonomous driving in until the 30. Mm -hmm. But the percentage in China customer is about 70. 5%. So that's 25 percent higher than uh, uh, yeah. worldwide. Uh, China customers, India, and uh, United American customers are most interested with the autonomous driving. While the German and the European uh, consumers are, are most conservative. In addition to the intelligent driving, interaction, intelligent interaction between the uh, cockpit and in-car information sharing has been widely welcomed by the China consumers. Really, it is life-changing, not just the way we drive, but the way vehicles communicate. Now, I've owned over 20 cars in my 36 years of driving, and this is something to be excited about. Where is this going to go? Where are China's new energy vehicles going to take us? You need to stay tuned because this is one very exciting time to be a car owner.